Hello and thanks for stopping by for another Diary of a Backmarker episode. It has been a while and was finally back at work roughly when the Apollo Racing Club ACC League ended the first season. I haven't had a whole lot of track time in Barcelona which is the first race of the second season and I was invited to join along with some of the fellow racers for some public lobby fun. Once again I'm in the 2018 Bentley Continental GT and messing around with the different livery. My one complaint is that I can't have my number on the front grille like all the other cool Bentley GT3s. Today I'm joined by Coogan who will be racing the Ferrari instead of the McLaren this season and Bray in the Mercedes. Both of them placed higher than me when the season completed with Bray and Cookie being the ones I want to compete against in the upcoming season. As we head into turn 1 I can tell it's going to get a little dicey and leave Bray some room. I probably could have tried to squeeze in but it most likely would have ruined my race or worse a lot of other drivers. You hear it a lot but you don't win a race in the first turn. Alexis behind me hits a nice switchback but ends up killing a lot more of his speed and unfortunately I didn't realize this and I end up bumping into him. I'm usually really good at giving space as I always try to be a safe driver, though with close racing, incidents like this will happen. Once again, I apologize to the driver and sorry about that. I found myself with a really strong run on the Mercedes and the driver ends up understeering and ends up letting me slip by easily. Now I'm pushing too hard as I've become too tunnel visioned with the Porsche ahead as I was gaining time. I end up getting on the gas too soon as I run over the curves and go wide. I'm fortunate enough that I don't incur much damage and I'm in an area where it is really easy to rejoin the track safely. I'm gaining on the cars that pass by me and the Porsche ahead has some snap over steer and I'm able to narrowly avoid the car. Things are looking up until I let both my tires drop onto the curb and it causes my car to oversteer. Though because of all the time with the Bentley I'm able to catch this and only lose time instead of completely losing the car. This is a rare case of not focusing on turns and trying to skip steps. I end up getting on the accelerator too soon again. As impatient as I am and frustrated with myself that I am, I make sure not to get in the way of the other drivers and wait until it's safe to get underway again. I did manage to pass Bray due to him having to pit. This is another case of being on the qualifying or wrong fuel load. The interesting part is I had reminded him before the race and he corrected the fuel load only to switch his setup and forget to correct his fuel load again. Despite being nearly 10 seconds behind me, he's mounted an amazing offense and is now breathing down my neck for the last lap. I'm not going to lie that things were intense for me to the point where I started to hold my breath. I run a little wide and give Bray an opening. While going into the turn, I know I have to give him space, but he told me he ended up killing his speed, which is why I'm able to stay with him heading into the sharp left. This is probably going to be my last chance to gain my spot back, and I get really late on the brakes. We both clear the turn and brake comes out on top. We both touch, and it should have been much worse as I hit his left rear side. Thankfully, no one loses a position or gets crashed out of the race so close to the end. The last set of chicanes at Barcelona gives me a lot of trouble and Bray comes out on top. It was an amazing drive by Bray to come back from his untimely pit stop and I was happy to be able to go door to door with him for a bit. If I want to keep up with him and Cookie next season, I have to shave off another second or two from my pace. I'm excited to get the second season underway and looking forward to visiting and learning the tracks we didn't race on last season. There are still open spots and if you're looking to join a US time zone league on Saturdays, definitely check us out. You don't need to be an alien or a fast boy to join as we have people competitive as front runners midfielders and back markers. Once again, thank you for watching and if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to continue to follow my journey. Have a great day and I look forward to seeing you on the public lobbies and maybe even the ARC ACC League.